Hello, my fragrant friends. I'm here today to pre-pot some plants. Um, you're going to see that on my tool section here. I have some unusual tools, and that's what I'm all about, using things incorrectly. But first, let's get started on what I'm doing today. I'm going to be pre-potting everything that's going to go in here. You see that I'm just mapping out with some pots of what's going to go where. And this is why you keep all these things. Even though you kill the plant and it's making you sad that they're all empty, you keep them. So that way you can use them when you decide to put bulbs in them. And they're great starter pots. So that way you can transfer later. Um, so let's talk about what I messed up on. Before I started all this mess, I saw these things in the store. And I decided that, ooh, they're pretty. I want them. Please give me, give me, give me, give me. And I bought that. Not really thinking about what I'm going to do with them or how am I going to use them. And since that section back here is going to be my colorful garden, um, these ones are fragrant. These ones are kind of fragrant. Anything else that's fragrant? Mm, these ones could be fragrant. Or these ones. I don't know. Oh, I can't even really show you. These ones or these ones are fragrant. But everything else is just color. There's a, there's a little bit of pink, there's a lot of purple and yellow, some blue up there. Where am I? Blue. All right, let's let's do this. So in the packages I showed you, I have about 74 to play. I cannot fit 74 bulbs in here. Okay. So that's why I am mapping out, counting, seeing how many I have and where I'm going to put what. I think this is very important. It's one of these steps that sometimes I forget about and then I regret it later really regret it because then I think it has no sense to anything yeah and it has some sort of sense the only sense I like to have is tall in the back small in the front color coordination not really especially since I pre-bought that package without even thinking about it okay so I don't have enough of these little ones I had to go into the big ones so I figured these ones I could split put two in each one and then I have some cups that I'm going to put in the middle here. Where am I at? Here and then back there. Here and then back there. And then these two don't fit so I'm going to put cups in there. So let's get started on the cups. I had more. But my dog got a hold of them. These, this is why I have my red party cups out here. To fill in those blanks with the little pots. I don't know what they're called. So basically you just make holes in them. Where are you? Yep, you can see me. Perfect. You make holes in them. And I tried I tried one other way of getting making holes in it. I got a knife and I stabbed it. Problem with that is that the pressure makes this crack here. So the whole cup becomes useless. And then it's kind of dangerous to just do that. Alright, so how do I make those holes? You get your barbecue skewer that you never use for barbecuing. You turn the cup right side up. And you just stab it. You stab it in two separate spots. You kind of spin it so you can make sure you make that groove in there. I make sure and you stab it and you spin it. Where are you? There we go. You can see me. And it would be nice to say that's all you do. And done. No. Oh, where are you? You see those divots in there now? You can't really see those divots in that one. You can see it on the other one. Alright. First stop. First step done. You stab it back in there, right where that divot is at, and you put your fingers around the divot. You stab yourself on this time, you should have been wearing gloves, or you shouldn't be doing this at all. You gently push it through, and there it is. Carefully grab the cup, and pull it out. I say carefully a lot because these cups could break easily. They're not meant for this type of pressure. And just to make sure that the hole is nice and big, you do it through the top. Don't lean it up against the table because that's how you get the crack in it. There are your holes. You need good drainage. I need six cups. Thankfully, I've already done four and ruined one for you. That was five. And here goes six. Some people might say, yeah, it's not enough drainage. You know, but that's why I'm messing up for you. So I could tell you whether or not that is actual 
enough drainage. Okay, keep your fingers away from the hole. Gently twist and push, twist and push, twist. It's taking too long. Twist and push. There you go. Twist and twist. Really twist. Ugh. I'm actually afraid of stabbing myself. I'm running my mouth. Saying you gotta be careful and wear gloves. I'm not being careful and I'm not gonna put on gloves just yet. Twist. Ah, that one went through. Okay, grab it from the base, twist and pull so you won't break it. Ah, I got a little crack right there. See? See that crack right there? Gotta be careful. That's what I get. Perfect. And out. And you do the small one if they don't want to work for you. There you go. Twist it and push it. Boom! Alright, it's got that little crack. Let's hope it works. All six of them are done. Just for clearing off space, I'm going to put these over there where they go. <laughs> I was going to put them over there where they go, but my dog sucks. She'll grab it, eat it, destroy it, make me make another one. And then gag on it all night long. That's always the fun part. Okay. These ones grow 18 inches. I already wrote them down. Where's my little camera? Where are you? Okay. See that post-it? I already wrote on there what the sizes are, so I don't have to figure it out. Guess, turn the paper, figure it out. 18 inches, 6 inches... Two and a half feet. Okay, so these ones are my winners so far. Daffodils are about 18 inches, six inches. Oh, the drumstick. What is the drumstick size? Tall. Drumstick, 16 inches. Okay. What about these ones? Allium. 35 inches, yeah. Those are the tallest ones. Okay. I'm gonna press Alright, as I'm trying to get stuff ready, pretend to be professional with what I'm doing, it's good to note that you take a picture of this area as best you can so that way later you could kind of label it. Then you know where you're supposed to put things, so you can reference your pictures. There you go, picture time. I am cutting out little labels of the names. Where is it? This one right here goes to this one. Apparently I only have three of these, so I put three labels, I'm going to use them all. Um, Sectioning them out like this is probably the best thing to do. Um, and size determination. So I'm going to write down all the sizes from biggest to smallest. I'm going to count how many spaces I have and I'm going to go from there. See you in a bit. Yeah, I want to get it. Oh, yeah, I want to get it. 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 Yeah, I want to get
paid for this cup. Huh? Oh, Seven more. So this is what we do now. Gladiator has how tall? We're going to be back in only three Okay. Okay. This is the tall one, so we don't need those. Gladiator. Gladiator. We can tape on top, so it won't fly away. This is 10 inches. Okay. It takes a lot of work to figure this out. 10 inches, 16 inches, 6 inches, 18 inches, 14 inches. Alright, so we take this and put it in order. There we go. And look at our growing station. Trust me, I don't know what I'm talking about. 1, 2, 3, 4, okay, 5, 6, 7, 8, eyes. 9, 10, okay. 11, 12, 13. Yes. So we got 13 across the bottom. If I put these two, the 10 inch, there they are. The 10 inch and the 6 inch in the front row, starting from the white bucket, red bucket, all the way to the front row, all the way over to the white bucket. I can make some sort of pattern with these two. These are 10 inch and 6 inch, so it'll be a nice variety of size in the front row. In the middle, I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I only got 4 of these. But if I mix that up with 2 of these, Yeah, for those. I'm gonna show you this. Well, yeah. And I'm just talking about the orange buckets right here. One, two, three. It'll be a nice little pattern. Two here, two here, and then two of these ones right in the middle. That would be perfect. So the gladiators, I only have three. I am going to put them exactly symmetrical. Where am I? Right here in this corner. There's like a red bucket. I don't know if you can see it there. At the top one, right past this gray one, there's a black one right in the middle. And then over here on this corner, where are you? There you are. Right here, back here. So that's three perfect. So that leaves me one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's five daffodils. I could add four to this. So there you go. That's how you figure out where things go. 
Let's map it out a little. All right, some progress being made. Let me tell you what's going on. So I stuck the ones that are going in the rows together. And you see that I put a new number on there. That number is the depth that they require to be uh, potted in, covered in, buried in, whatever. So that's like three inches for these ones. And these are the ones going in the front row. Oh, okay, this is the middle row. This one says four to eight inches. I don't know. Um, that one says four inches. So I'm going to try and stick to four inches. This one is like the only one that requires like five inches. And the reason why I'm doing that is so I can know what size pots. I mean, I have different sizes going on here. So it's important to know what's going on with that. Oh, yeah, this stick, another skewer, another skewer that I don't use for barbecuing. This is going to be good to measure out these numbers and figure out what pot would be best for it and where to put my dirt and the level and make sure everything's all nice and even. Okay, more tools not being used for their intended purpose. Um, okay. All right, I could tell already that the daffodils are going to need the big ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight daffodils. All right. Now there are 18. So whichever one makes 18. I get two cups here. So they are smaller. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. There we go. See? 18. 18 cyber, I think it is. Let me see. Cyber. Alright. And these are all drumsticks right here. So, because I'm going to have to do the same for the other one in a minute. I'm going to put this one back into... I guess it wasn't too bad, but it's still kind of annoying. Alright, hopefully the other one is just as easy. Why do we have a measuring tape? To make our lives just a little bit easier. Three inches is about there. Can you see that? Nice little lovely three inch mark. Instead of being super duper annoying, let's make it go all the way around. Not that hard. Save ourselves a couple of steps there. And you see that? Where are you? Yeah, you can see that. It sticks all the way to the bottom. And the three inch mark is like right there. So it's safe to say I'm not going to do this at a three inch mark. Probably go the three inch up here. So I can get some soil underneath. But it's supposed to be three inches deep. Okay. So I might give what is that? In between a quarter and an eighth of an inch. I think that'd be a smart idea. <coughs>
Okay. And my little cheat sheet. And later when I work on my little graphics, I'll have a better one, but I'll have that as a cheat sheet. Let's, let's figure out what we're doing. Oh yeah, okay. So this is what we're doing. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Here we go. All right there. Perfect. Pretty. Nice. Excellent. Where's my tape? Okay. This is where it all starts coming together. The smallest piece of tape ever. This one's gonna go inside of this one, and this is gonna go here. And I'm gonna go like this. And pull out the bottom one. Wipe it off. Get these bottom gloves out of the way because they're bugging you, and this stick you don't need it just yet. Put that there. Cut this one here. Scared dog there. This is a mix. All right, this is the last cyber. 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 I don't really care what the name is. I've got my bucket here. I got my bag of soil here. Up this into the bucket to make life a whole lot easier. my thin shovel, my wide mouth shovel, 
both right here. Got my gloves. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. You put these in there. See? Save some space already. Those are for the comps. And then my sabers and my measuring strip. Yeah, see, these are like exactly three inches, so they're gonna have to come up a little. All right, first seaver. Just gonna get a little handful. Let's see if I can show you how much that is. Just, just like that. Put it in there. Compact it. Make a nice, sturdy, hard, flat base there. Somewhere that it's not gonna go anywhere. All right. I'm gonna have to take off my gloves for this seating part. Okay. It says to. Okay. This one's dead. Okay. I'm not even gonna count that one. Okay. See this one? You, you would ask, what is the difference between this one? Let me take the shell off so you can see it clearly. Take my gloves off. Completely really useless. See the dryness? Looks like a like a raisin. Has all been like sucked in. This one's still plump. This one just it's dry. This one isn't. This one's still kind of like it's got life and it's got bounce. This one doesn't. But you know it's dead. Alright, let's do this. Keeping the gloves off this hand <coughs> so I can handle this better. Instructions say to plant it, it participates with the rounded side down and the pointed side up. You see it? Hopefully, you can see it. You can't see it, I'm sorry. Put it smack dab in the middle. Just Push it down so it kind of makes a groove in there and it doesn't go anywhere. Just went somewhere. Let's see if I could do this in front of the camera. Where are you? All right, here you are. Okay. You're gonna push this in there. Oh. Okay. With your gloves on, you make a groove for the video. Does it stain if I don't move it? But in order to show you, it don't want to work. Okay, where are you? Uh, see it? It's kind of upward there. And it's not really going anywhere, okay? You don't have to put that much effort into it. It's just I'm trying to show you so it moves. It's all for you. All right. <sighs> Grab this. What I'm going to do to save time and effort, everything I have out of the wheelbarrow, and I'm going to start putting them in there because I'm going to put them in there and I'm going to move them about to their final location because they can't stay out here. Or my dog will eat them. Dude, they're just gonna freeze over right now. It's too cold outside. It's still like at 20 degrees at night. Yeah, I know. There's colder places, other places in the country. I don't care. 
this is where I live, this is where I'm freezing, and it's cold. Let's take a look at my plants. It's not working, but because I'm putting two of them, I'm going to put one on this end and the other one on this end. In case they both bloom, they have some sort of space and chance to live. And if not, well, hopefully at least one of them blooms. Wait, see that right in there? Is it going to swell? So I'm going to try it. Try it. Okay. Okay. Right there. Let me try it. Let's go. Try it. Okay. 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 Ok
These are the ones that are in the whole thing worry. If I started reading, they're like, do it in December, and it's January 2nd. I mean, they're here to me. Um, look at them. All right, these, these two are, are prime samples of what's going on. This is These are the ones why I started. They're growing. They're growing. They want to grow. So, ask me, shall we see, type of situation. <laughs> Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Hello fragrant friends, Eva here. Just wanted to give a quick recap before I call it the end of the day. I'm sure you've noticed that my phone died and the table's clear. Which could only mean one thing. I am done. I've cleaned up, everything is in this little bucket and I'm about to take it inside. I did want to go over a few things. I am not sure exactly when the phone died. Just in case you didn't know, these big ones, oop, there goes that one. We're big enough to fit um, at the five inch mark. I was able to put like what, a quarter of an inch? Probably even half an inch of dirt. I was able to put in a quarter an inch to half an inch of dirt at the bottom, put the bulb, and then um, at the three inch mark, put other bulbs on the opposite side. So that worked out for me. Let's just see what happens by the time spring comes around. All right, let's put these in the garage and I'll show you how I'm doing that right now. There is a window. Okay, as you can see here, there is a window. This is a south facing window. It's about, what, two and a half feet wide? It's not that small, it's not that big. Right here, I was able to set up a plastic bin on top of two benches. I made a mess. Okay, so right here is where I'm gonna put them. That'll be enough light for them right now. It'll protect them from the frost. It does get super cold in here, but at least it's not the direct cold, chilly air. You know, it'll be nice and cold. They'll know it's winter. They'll live. All right. Okay. So you see everything is well lit. Um, Light hits here. It's like five in the afternoon. Dead of winter. Light is still coming in. It's filtered, but still it's light. Um, you can see the weight dispersal. I'm trying to get it all nice and even. So that way, if it shakes for some reason, it's not going to topple over. See me trying to shake it there. Um, I put the little paper here upside down so the sun won't burn out the letters. And it's like 5 in the afternoon. And you can see that there's plenty of light coming in. It's 5.30, dead of winter. It's filtered light because there's like a shadow from the ceiling of my house. But it's still, it's getting plenty of light. So you know that when the sun's coming through here, it's going to get tons of direct light. Garage is going to stay cold. I don't have a heater in here because, you know, I'm normal. So the plants still know it's winter. 
and they're going to grow as such. And hopefully by springtime, we'll have a large cluster of beautiful flowers to plant. Um, I'm not worried about storing this by name because that's why we labeled them and I have a, a cheat sheet of what's supposed to happen. Uh, like I said, I'm more worried about um, me knocking it over. And by spreading these out in um, some sort of orderly fashion, I make sure that it doesn't fall. Because, you know, that's why they're in the garage. So they won't fall and my kids won't mess with them. All right. All right, flowerful friends. I just want to leave you with an image of what I should be working on next time. Getting this ground leveled and ready to properly put those pots in. Planters, planters, that's what they are. Um, and getting that soil ready for the bulbs. Also, another thing I need to get working on is that tree. It's cleared out. It's clean. Just need to get new bricks, level out the ground, stack it up higher, fill it up with dirt. Like, I say that like it's so easy. Hopefully, next time I see you, uh, my voice would be better. And I won't be mouth breathing so much. Because I know that's annoying. Hmm. Oh, also. Um... I have discovered exactly what flowers I want for my butterfly garden, so I'll be happy to announce those. And I don't think I'm going to have much in the fragrant garden department because of the number of flowers I've picked out. I think I have plenty of fragrant flowers to go with my butterfly flower garden that I should be good with that. We'll see what happens this year. Maybe I'll work on that next year. But I will be doing tons of stuff. Um, gosh, I really hope that I'm able to finish this on time. Look how disgusting that is. Alright, have a beautiful day. See you all next time. Bye.